Hey, are you facing this issue that you're on your MacBook Air M2? Maybe after this software update, the OTG converted pen drive, flash drive, hard drive, SSD, SD card, or other external USB device is not showing or maybe not detecting at all? Well, stay with us till the end so we can show you some definite solutions to that problem. Now, before proceeding further, if you're using an external hard drive, try to use the cable that came with it. Now, if you're using a third-party cable, just make sure it's compatible with the device. Now, if that's not the issue, but it's still not showing, well, although not recommended at normal time, but now, just go ahead and force eject your device from your Mac. And before inserting it again, the USB or Type-C external device or the converter, whatever you're using, just make sure all are functional and of course the ports are clean as well. Now, even after that, if it's still not showing, why don't you go ahead and restart your MacBook Air? Comes handy all the time, trust me. Well, after the restart, insert the device again. Now, a little heads up at this point, if you're using this device for the first time on your Mac, there should be a pop-up. Just go ahead and allow it. If you accidentally deny it, it won't show on your Mac even though the device is inserted. Now, if you're saying this and after allowing, you're supposed to find it on Finder. If you're not seeing any pop-up, just don't worry. You're supposed to find your device in there. Go to Finder. Here under Locations, all your external devices is supposed to be visible. For those who can't find it here, well, I know, irony, keep the Finder open in here. Go to Finder Settings and then Sidebar. Scroll down just a bit. Here, make sure external disk and CDs, DVDs, and iOS devices are selected. Now, as you can see, our device is visible here. It should be visible on your finder as well. And whenever you want, you can access it from here. But if it's not showing on desktop, which is much quicker, convenient way to access your external device, what you have to do is just from the finder settings again, in general, select external disks and CDs, DVDs, and iPods. Now see, it's visible on our device as well. Now what if you're still unable to find it on your desktop? Well, don't worry. If it still didn't work, go straight to Disk Utility. Here, make sure your external device is not in NTFS format because that format is not compatible with Mac and that's the reason it's not detected. Now, you'll just have to reformat it to XFAT file format. But hey, it'll remove all data from your external device. Please check the disclaimer on screen for that. If you are okay with it, go ahead, erase and format it. Now, for those, the formatting wasn't the issue and the problem still persists, go ahead, run first aid from the list of operations. And after that, press on mount. Unless it's a hardware issue, you should see and access your external device from MacBook. So these are the ways you can solve your USB device not detected on MacBook Air M2. Let us know if that solves your problem or not. Thank you for watching.